Every Thursday, our series, we call it A More Perfect Union, aims to show what unites us as Americans is so far greater than what divides us. This morning, we've got the story of a young college student who's overcoming poverty and hardship with the help of a stringed instrument. Eddie James is his name. He plays lead cello in the George Mason University Orchestra. He says he's discovered his talent quite by accident. Chip Reed visited James on the Virginia campus to learn about this life-changing passion. What is happening to you when you play? I mean, mostly it's just kind of me trying to ignore the fact that there's <laughs> hundreds of people in front of me. For 20-year-old Eddie Adams, the cello has been an instrument for much more than music. I would stay after school and practice for however long, and then would take the, like, the after school bus home just to at least spend as much time as I can being, I guess, away from reality. The cello takes you away from reality. Yeah. He struggled with a difficult home life and at times lived with his family in a shelter. I just remember it was kind of weird, especially having to take the school bus from the homeless shelter. In junior high school, he discovered the cello by chance. They like had us go around and try different instruments. Right, um, right different things. And I yeah. tried percussion and they said I had no rhythm. <laughs> so um, then I ended up not playing percussion. And they were like, oh, we need people in the orchestra. And then that was like the first time I saw cello and I was like, I don't want to do this. But he persevered with the help of cello YouTube videos and encouragement from people like his high school music teacher, Gerald Falks. At the time, I mean, this was his escape was music. He became so good so fast that George Mason University offered him a full tuition scholarship, even though he had never had a private lesson. He has talent, enormous talent. The director of stringed instruments at George Mason, Jun Huang, says Adam's audition was special. I remember that moment because it's unique when you hear music come from the core of somebody, the silent, peaceful middle of someone. And I felt honored to witness that. When he didn't have one of his own, Huang lent Adams her cello. I believe we are mandated as human beings to lift each other and to bring each other's gifts forward. And that's really all I'm doing. And he made beautiful music on my terrible cello. For Adams, simple deeds like those have been life-changing. I feel like thank you isn't enough to really describe how I feel. And I feel weird just even saying thank you because I feel like it's not adequate enough to all the people. What does the cello mean to you? everything because it's kind of gotten me everything that I have now and gotten to me to where I am today it got me into school and I never thought I saw myself being in college a sound success where the opportunities are endless chip Reed, CBS News Fairfax Virginia pumping up Bravo to Eddie James YouTube and no private lesson and he does that I mean, oh, it's and how about June saying, I believe we are mandated as human beings to lift each other and to bring each other's gifts forward. Yes, it's beautifully told. Nicely done, Chip Reed. I love that story. And then she said his music comes from the silent, peaceful middle. Yeah. I, want a, I want a vacation house in the silent, <laughs> peaceful, peaceful middle. middle. Don't we all? Or, and, or Eddie James in his cello. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Bringing it to you. Very nice.